Daniel Craig gets emotional after final scene of James Bond. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button to avoid missing any amazing video from us. Here's a cursory glance at the Hollywood actors that have portrayed James Bond, from Sean Connery to Pierce Brosnan. Daniel initially played James Bond in 2006, Casino Royale, and has since featured in five Bond movies, trailing only Sean Connery and Roger Moore, both of whom have portrayed the part seven times apiece. Daniel Craig is now realizing that his time as James Bond is nearing its end. On Tuesday, October 12, the star appeared on The Tonight Show featuring Jimmy Fallon, where he spoke with The Late Night Show about shooting his closing act as 007 for No Time to Die. From 2006, after he took over after Pierce Brosnan, he has already been portraying the beloved character. Craig remarked as during conference that most pictures filming approaches end undramatic, but this one is really unique. He revealed to Jimmy Fallon that every single individual in the workplace had kept late, all the actors had remained late, all the team had worked overtime, and then all the department managers had stayed late. When he became sad while shooting his final scene, Daniel claims he was really not worrying about his exit from the series throughout the entire production. On the episode, he noted, it wasn't sad as we were shooting it. I don't have time to reflect about this. You're always thinking of the future, next week, or what you have on your plate, and there are always flames to put out now and things to perform. Craig is well aware of the value of his 15 years as James Bond. I know each movie is a creative activity, he said, and I love my profession, so every day is fantastic for me. However, when you're working on a Bond film, you understand this is different. Funny enough, once Craig had first been approached to film, he didn't think he'd get the part. Craig told the Times in September that he supposed he'd been asked to film as cannon fodder, to make choosing someone for the part simpler. He told the New York Times, I was just in the mix, somebody to ignore. Obviously, nothing could be further from the truth. No Time to Die was released in cinemas on October 8 and grossed $56 million in the United States and $313 million worldwide in its first weekend. Rami Malek, Ana Date Armas, Naomi Harris, Ben Wishaw, Lashana Lynch, Ralph Fiennes, and Christoph Waltz all featured in the film, and it's fine with Craig if he's known as the Cranky Bond. This is just my bond, he told media. I have to endure it, that has been my bond. However, I'm pretty content with it. The film No Time to Die is currently in theaters. Many people here collaborated on five movies with me, and I'm sure there will be a lot of discussion as to what I feel of these films. But I've enjoyed every minute of these films, particularly this one, because I've had the privilege of working with you guys every day. And it's been one of the most humble experiences of my life, he continued, his eyes welling up with tears. The Royal Albert Hall in London will host the international premiere of No Time to Die on Sept 28. It'll be released on September 30 in the UK and Ireland by Universal Pictures International, and then on October 8 in the US by MGM's United Artists Theatrical Banner. Bond has quit active duty in the film and is living a peaceful life in Jamaica, according to the plot. When his old acquaintance Felix later, first from CIA shows up and asks for assistance, his calm is short-lived. The quest to save an abducted researcher turns out to be much more deadly than Bond had thought, leading him to a mystery enemy with deadly latest tech. Being James Bond, a free Apple TV docudrama, looks back on Craig's profession as the iconic figure from Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, Skyfall, Spectre, and his closing act in No Time to Die, which was postponed numerous times but will eventually hit theaters in the United States on October 8. Being James Bond, is available to rent for free on the Apple TV app until October 7, and No Time to Die would be released in theaters the following day in the United States. Tickets for the film, which includes 40-minute segments recorded with a Max's 15-70mm videography for the first time in the James Bond film series, are currently on sale. No Time to Die is also notable for being the first 007 film to be published in 3D and real D formats. That's all for today. 
What are your thoughts on the subject? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing video from us. Thanks for watching.